Today, we are going to see diagonalization of A matrix and then we are going to see eigenvalues and eigenvectors we are going to see. Consider the system x dot equal to ax plus du and y, the output equation y equal to cx plus du where a equal to 3 a equal to minus 3 1 1 minus 3 b equal to 1 0 c equal to 1 0 d equal to a zero matrix this is given the first step is find the eigen values eigen values and eigen vectors eigen vectors second point is diagonal lies the a matrix. We can put hence, hence diagonalize the A matrix. This is the two parts of uh, this question. First, let us find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. To find uh, eigenvalues, uh, we have to find SI minus A equal to 0. Determinant of SI minus A equal to 0. And SI is what? S 0 0 s is s si minus a a equal to minus 3 1 1 minus 3 we equal to 0 r s plus 3 minus 1 minus 1 s plus 3 equal to 0. Determinant of determinant of this is equal to 0. What is the determinant? Determinant of this is S plus 3 whole square minus 1 equal to 0 or S square plus 2 6 S 6 S plus 9 minus 1 equal to 0 or s square plus 6s plus 8 equal to 0. The roots of uh, them are minus 2 comma minus 4. Minus 2 comma minus 4. Therefore, eigenvalues are eigenvalues are, are minus 2 comma 4 minus 4. That's all. Now, let us find the eigenvectors. Eigen vectors. Eigen vectors are solution of uh, this that is lambda i i minus a x i equal to 0. Solution of this is uh, so lambda i means the first value is minus 2. Therefore, minus 2 0 0 minus 2 is lambda i lambda i i minus a a is what a is minus 3 1 1 minus 3 multiplied by x i here x 1 x 2 equal to 0 and that is equal to minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 uh, this is minus 1, this is also minus 1, minus 2 plus 3 plus 1. So, we got uh, x1, x2 equal to 0. So, what is uh, the equations? If you multiply, what you will get is x1 minus x2 equal to 0. Here, minus x1 plus x2 equal to 0. 
So if you find that uh, <clears throat> this is, uh, you might have studied in algebra, linear algebra, that uh, uh, if determinant of uh, AD is less than, uh, the rank of AD is, uh, rank of AD is less than N means you will get uh, infinite number of solutions. Here also infinite number of solutions. That's why we have to assume x1. x1 equal to 1 means x2 equal to also 1. That's all. Therefore, the eigenvector for lambda equal to minus 2 is 1, 1. That's all. One vector we got. Similarly, we have to find another vector that is uh, lambda i i minus a multiplied by x i equal to 0. Here, lambda i is uh, minus 4. Therefore, minus 4, 0, 0, minus 4, minus a. a is minus 3, 1, 1 minus 3, x i, that is x1, x2 equal to 0. Minus 4 plus 3 is uh, minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. Multiplied by x1, x2 equal to 0. Or you will get the equation of x1 minus x2 equal to 0. Take first row, first column. You will get uh, another equation, the same equation, x1 minus x2 equal to 0. It means uh, you will get infinite number of solutions. Let us assume that uh, x1 equal to 1, therefore x2 equal to minus 1. Therefore, the another vector, mm, x1, x2, another eigenvector is 1 minus 1. Therefore, P matrix is equal to combine these two eigenvalues. P matrix is 1, 1, 1, minus 1. This is the P matrix. So, this is the eigenvectors. Eigenvectors are, this is eigenvectors. Eigenvectors. 1, 1, 1, minus 1 is the eigenvectors. If you combine eigenvectors, you will get the P matrix. Now, we can diagonalize by using P matrix. What is diagonal matrix? Uh, a cap equal to A cap equal to P inverse AP. So P P matrix P matrix equal to what? P matrix equal to one 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 minus one. Therefore P inverse. Since it is a two by two matrix, we can apply thumb rule to find the inverse. We have to interchange these two. We have to interchange these two. So, minus 1, 1. Interchange the diagonal elements and the negate the half diagonal elements. Therefore, minus 1, minus 1. That is P, P inverse. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you have to find the adjoint matrix and determinant of matrix P. So, P inverse you got. Therefore, we can find the P inverse AP. P inverse is 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. A is uh, minus 3. 1, 1, minus 3, and uh, P matrix is 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So, if you multiply these two together, what you will get, uh, we have to write as such, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. If you multiply this first row, first column, minus 3, plus 1, minus 2. Minus 3, plus 1, minus 2. First row, second column, minus 3, minus 1, minus 4. Second row, first column, 1, minus 3, minus 2. Second row, second column, 1, plus 3, plus 4.
So if you multiply again, first row, first column, you will get uh, minus two, uh, plus two, plus two, four, you will get. First row, second column, this is uh, plus four, minus four, that's why zero. Again, second row, first column, you will get, uh, this becomes positive, this becomes negative, that's why again zero. Second row, second column, plus four, plus four, eight, you will get. Mm -hmm. The determinant, uh, we have to divide this by determinant of p, one by determinant of p. Determinant of p equal to what? Uh, this is minus 1, minus 1, that is minus 2. Therefore, p inverse is minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, that is uh, minus 1 by 2, that is equal to uh, 4 by 2 is 2, minus 2, 0, 0, minus 4. This is the Diagonalized A, A cap is diagonal in that we got from P matrix. That's all about this sum. So we found the eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and then diagonalize the A matrix.